everybody my name is Cara on fire and welcome back to another Conan Exiles video today we're going to be talking about the brand new chapter 4 and all of the juicy things inside it today so first of all you're going to notice these around the map you can find them on the Isle of Sipta and you can find them on the exiled lands on the exiled lands there near dogs of the desert camp near the den at the place you'd usually go to the midnight grove and on Sipta, they are near the big tower in the middle you can't miss it it'll have a big beam coming out of it and you'll be able to start the event there keep an eye out for videos going over locations and much more information that goes into the full thing Either way, this is Chapter 4's main meat and potatoes. You get to talk to this brand new lady who will send you on a quest to kill several of her champions of Jebel Sag, with the end result leading you into the grove to defeat a very special bear boss. You can also get ambushed every night, and this will be an opportunity to earn your first fangs or maybe some extra along the way. However, it is not very reliable, so you might want to see about finding your favourite champion. Once you got some though, you'll be able to go to the Master of the Hunt, which you can find at both Sipta and the Exiled Lands and trade with them. They will trade with you some really important items like the Champion Law, which you'll need to donate some fangs to be able to get some more fangs back type deal if you go out fighting champions. The Potion of the Hunt that allows you to go into the final boss's chambers. Don't recommend using this until you got all of the special champion pieces. And the war paint, which is essential for this one, as you will need it equipped to fight all of the champions and the end boss. Then there is a bunch of brand new items, and they aren't cheap, including the cape you've seen me wearing quite a lot in the past few videos, costing about 1000 to unlock the recipe to craft it. You might be hoping to get lucky as well, because there is a new guest at the tavern which will teach you how to get a bear pet. His name is Zil the One. Wanderer. He will pop up now and again randomly, you just have to get lucky enough to find him and hope that he comes along to your tavern. Which might not be the easiest thing that happens, but you just have to wait and see if he pops up. But once you find him, you can't miss him, he's very obvious and he's wearing that sweet sweet cape that you want to get your hands on. Either way, if you chat to this guy long enough, he will teach you a brand new way to be able to get the bear pet instead of just taking down the boss for fangs. On Exile, his story will take you to a very special place which you will need to go into the second level of. For those unsure, you see that little door by the second gate right there? You don't see it? Oh well, let's have a look right here. This door right here. In this door, you'll be able to see like bits of cave in the inside this is a door you want to break you can break it with a battering ram literally just around the corner it normally spawns on this barrel and you only have to get in the front gate so as long as you can do that you should be able to get inside once you've broken the door you'll see this kind of scenery and you'll be able to go down into the dark underneath and the place you're going to want to go to is the shining altar within which you'll be able to put down another lore and spawn a beastly hyena which will have the last bits you need to be able to do a special crafting recipe in the place where you craft the boss champion lore. So once you got all the bits you need to go ahead and do the boss, whether you're taming it or not, you'll go to the altar of Jebel Sag in the area and you'll be able to either craft a grand champion lore or a Maladorodus Grand Champion Lore, which is the one you'll need to tame things with. However, when you craft one of these, you have to let it kind of expire and then you can use it. So you do have to wait a time to use this one. But if you just want to get straight into it, you could just use a normal Champion Lore, put it with the brand of the Mammoth, the Panther and the Rhino, and you can go straight ahead and just, you know, get into the madness and i don't think you'll be disappointed by the event as it is quite fun and i enjoy the new bear boss he's awesome well this is one part of chapter four but what about the rest is there any more coming to conan exiles in this final hoo-ha of the age of war well no it's not the only thing there's also a brand new ballista you can use which is pretty awesome 
a new piece of siege equipment that specializes in taking down avatars and helping with purge enemies so this could be really handy when it comes to purges and there's something brand new with purges as well that you can look forward to so with purges now especially in the later levels you can now enjoy some brand new waves of enemies there are now waves of golems that will come at you and some have exploding heads that pop off and you have to be careful of there are waves of scorch that throw fire grenades at your base and there are much much more there are champions there are thieves that will try and pick your door locks to unlock them and get inside and there is something you have to be very careful of which is the meteor mage which will summon some meteorites on top of your perch base to get in which can be detrimental although they do take a while to charge up so you have ample time to run over to their base area kill the star caller and make sure that doesn't happen to your base well unless you want a free delivery of star metal to your house then yeah you know also a nice tip with that is if you want some more bloodstone well the golems that come to your base you can farm it for that so you get some free resources that way which is actually quite nice and profitable those seem to be the main interesting ones either way but you should be able to have more variety in a purge now and things to look forward to or maybe things to dread especially when it comes to trying to get better loot and spawns and uh, the trader to come into town <laughs> oh, i gotta go kill that i didn't realize it one shot at everything what the heck dude <laughs> <laughs> there has been a multitude of adjustments as well we go over a few the sort of chrome has changed it might be worth picking back up again as you'll be able to damage enemies with your npcs again now when you give them a sword also it doesn't take all your stamina in one swing so that is definitely a bonus one thing i think a lot of people will be a bit upset about though with this chapter is bearers and them becoming less of a tank now i mean i don't think they were ever supposed to be a tank but they stayed that way for such a long time that it became quite the meta between people using bearers as giant tanks because they would have loads and loads of health over the other types of npc that you could gather so i think bearers have really gone back to the state of just being able to carry they're not tanks anymore and you'll have to be a lot more wary of that or perhaps just use a camel instead and go back to the traditional fighter so bearer users beware because your bearers could be in danger on this update as they have lost a lot of health that they used to have so be very cautious with those and don't throw them into battle because their health pool is going to change drastically and they have also added different factions of bearers around as well so it might be better to get a bearer that is of a better health faction such as a Sumerian one or something like that because if it comes like from the black hand or something like that it might not have as much health as a different faction type would i think some of my favorite changes this chapter is the other scepter has gotten some love and there's two brand new camps you can siege on scepter at both major cities on that island that is something big and new in conan exiles in chapter 4 that i highly recommend having a look at and we can't forget the brand new fatalities which is also introduced into this update which allows you to chop slash and crush your enemies when they get down to low health they go to 1 HP and you'll be able to finish them whenever you like if you choose to and get a very gruesome animation which uh, well some people might like it some people might not but in the settings you'll be able to turn it off if you don't like that and another really big thing is with NPCs so if we go to the NPC that has changed as well and some UI there's actually just tons in this update of different little bits and pieces you'll be able to see in this kind of area now that instead of going on the big wheel to change uh, combat and stuff you'll be able to adjust behaviors via this window whether they withdraw from combat hold and chase defend or aggressive with their guarding behavior following behavior or whatever else so that is really helpful with that and of course the ui which you'll be able to see these little symbols i think they're a little hard to see for me 
but they should help sort out things in your inventory if you need to find them particularly and you can hover over them as well to show you which one is which so that's helpful for now they are really tiny though i'm hoping there'll be an option to perhaps make these symbols a little bigger for users that struggle with like eyesight or things like that because they are extremely small or maybe even people that play on a tv or a big screen that's going to be really hard to see these items unless you're hovering over what they do i do think the info box is a lot cleaner when you click on items although it is very weirdly spaced out between here and there massive spaces on the sides which is a little odd in my opinion maybe could be cleaned up a little more who knows but for now i think this is a good start and the information is quite nicely depicted i like the brand new look of it not a big fan of the spacing and the really tiny symbols apart from that i think it's a really decent job also there's no custom sort anymore on here there is no sorting which is technically custom sort because you can just move it wherever you like that has basically just been renamed but i am always been a heaviest first person so i know if i need to chuck out some branches or whatever when i'm on my journeys but either way there's a lot of things in chapter four that i can remember for now keep an eye on the channel subscribe if you'd like to see more information but either way thank you for watching i love you and i'll see you in the next one Bye bye